Hi, welcome to MSA YouTube channel. For this video, we're going to translate verbal expression into an algebraic expression. But before anything else, click like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you get updated with our latest video. One of the skills required in applied mathematics, like solving word problems in algebra, is the ability to translate verbal expression into an algebraic expression. So for this video, we're going to learn how to do that. First, let's try to recognize verbal phrases that can be translated into mathematical operation. So let's start with addition. The following phrases are used to indicate that the operation is addition. Add to, plus, more than the sum of increased by. So once you encounter the following phrases, it means that the operation is addition. So now let's try to use it in verbal expression. So let's have 5 added to x. When we translate it in algebraic expression, that will be x plus 5. Next, let's have y plus 3. So that will be y plus 3. Another example, 2 more than m, that will be m plus 2. The sum of p and q, that will be p plus q. And b increased by 9 when we transform it or when we translate it into algebraic expression, that will be b plus 9. Next, Subtraction. So for subtraction, we have minus, less, less than, subtracted from, decreased by, and diminished by. So once we encounter the following phrases, it means that the operation is subtraction. So let's have examples. Y minus 3, that can be translated into Y minus 3. 5 less X. That will be 5 minus x. 5 less than x. That will be x minus 5. So as you can see, we have less and less than. So for less, you don't have to change the order. But for less than, you need to change the order. You can just flip it, okay? So 5 less than x, that will be x minus 5. So in, once you encounter the word than or from, it means that you need to change the order okay and so next let's have it subtracted from a so again like less than you need to change the order so a minus eight so the translation is a minus eight next b decreased by nine so that will be b minus nine and lastly k diminished by 13 that is k minus 13. Okay, next operation, let's have multiplication. So we have times of the product of multiplied by twice, thrice. So once you encounter the following phrases, it means that we need to multiply. So example, 6 times x. 6 times x is 6x. Half of y. Half means 1 half. So 1 half of y is 1 half times y. And that is 1 half y. The product of g and h. So that is g times h. We can translate it into gh. V multiplied by 4, so V times 4, that is 4V. Twice Z, twice means times 2. So twice Z is 2 times Z, so that is 2Z. And thrice Z, thrice means times 3. So thrice Z is 3 times Z, so that will be 3Z. Let's have the next operation. 
division. So for division, we have the phrases divided by, the quotient of, and the ratio of. So let's try to use the following phrases as an example. Let's have k divided by 7. So we can translate it into k over 7. So for division in algebra, we use to translate it into fraction. So the dividend is the numerator and then the divisor is the denominator. Next example, the quotient of P and Q. So we can translate it as P over Q. And then the ratio of M and N, that will be M over N. Now that we're done with the basic operation, let's have power. The square of. Square means raised to 2 or the exponent is 2. Example, the square of x. So when we translate it into algebraic expression, that will be x raised to 2. The cube of, cube means raised to 3 or the exponent is 3. Example, the cube of x. When we translate it, that will be x raised to 3. Now that we know how to identify mathematical operation, let's have some exercises. Translate the following verbal expression into an algebraic expression. Number one, twice k increased by 5. Twice k means 2 times k, which is translated into 2k, increased by 5, so that will be plus 5. So the verbal expression twice k increased by 5 will be translated into 2k plus 5. Number 2. 4 times r diminished by 7. 4 times r is translated into 4r diminished by 7 is minus 7. Number 3. Thrice the sum of A and B. So thrice means times 3. Sum means addition. So the sum of A and B, that is A plus B, thrice, so times 3. The verbal expression thrice the sum of A and B will be translated into 3 times the quantity of A plus B. And number 4, 8 less than 5 times p. 5 times p is 5p. Less means subtraction. So the translation will be 5p minus 8. Number 5. The difference of twice y and z. Difference means subtraction. Twice y is 2 times y, which is 2y. So the translation will be 2y minus z. Let's have number 6. The product of 6 and m decreased by 2. So the product of 6 and m, 6 times m, is 6m decreased by 2 minus 2. So the translation will be 6m minus 2. Number 7. 6 times the sum of v and 3. The sum of v and 3 is v plus 3 and then times 6. So the translation will be 6 times the quantity of v plus 3. Number 8. 13 more than 7 times k. So 7 times k is 7k. So the verbal expression 13 more than 7 times k is 7k plus 13. Number 9, the quotient of S and 2. The quotient of S and 2 is S over 2. Then, plus 7, plus 7. So the expression, the verbal expression, the quotient of S and 2 plus 7 will be translated into S and over 2 plus 7. And last example, cube of H less 5. Cube of H, that is H raised to 3, less 5, minus 5. So, cube of H less 5 is H raised to 3, minus 5. Now, it's your turn to translate verbal expression into algebraic expression. 
So try the following. Number 1. 5 times x decreased by 8. The answer is... Very good. 5x minus 8. Number 2. 9 more than 7 times x. That is... 7s plus 9. Number 3. The square of j minus 15. It will be translated into j squared minus 15. Number 4. 12 less than the product of t and 3. The answer is 3t minus 12. Last number. Twice the sum of 4 times y and 6. Your answer is 2 quantity of 4y plus 6. And that's it for this video. For more exercises and practice worksheet, go to the description box below and click the link to download it.